I was born on 16 June 1971 in a beautiful city called Kolkata. I speak three languages, Bengali to begin with, Hindi and English. I provide ideas and strategies and methodologies in various corporate sector almost 10 to 12 days in a month. And these ideas are so beautiful, so practically beautiful. So before I start, I want to know from all of you, are you ready to listen to me? Yes. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. I've been working in sales and services. What I realized that there are only 10% people who become number one in their respective field, who are known by their credibility, reputation, sales and service. In next few moments, we are going to cross step by step. What are those steps to achieve the category of 10%? Here we go. And the point is, the point is, number one point is V-I-S-I-O-N, vision. We need to have a big vision to achieve greater success in life. In vision comes point number one is attitude. Now here in attitude, let me clarify a few points. The first point in attitude comes, how do you feel about yourself? Attitude means how you, what you think about yourself. What goes in your mind 24 into 7? What kind of thought moves in your mind? Are you a negative person or are you a positive person? I know so many people, they are not rich because they have not thought about it. They don't have dream. They don't have goal. They are so programmed in your mind, in their mind. If you don't have a right attitude towards business, the competitors are moving around. G.R.D. Tata says, I am just 10 minutes ahead or behind my competitor. 10 minutes ahead or behind. The second part is known as R-E-P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N Reputation and Credibility This is the most important factor in any business How am I going to understand what is my reputation in the market? What people talk about you? Suppose if I go to all your clients and if I ask about you, what do they say about you? If they say you are great as a, as a service provider, you are wonderful, in your office calls are received very properly, proper responses are given and you deliver your service promptly, that's all, your job is done. But the idea is reputation, I would place reputation more than profit, I will place profit a little later. Reputation first, what people think about me. And there are two types of reputation ladies and gentlemen, personal reputation, organizational reputation. What personally people think about you and reputation doesn't start from office, it starts from home. If your child is thinking good about you, if your family member is thinking good about you, if your mom and dad is thinking good about you, naturally your employee has to think good about you. You cannot be two personality, good at office, bad at home. It's next to impossible. You are one. You are good at home, you are good at office. So reputation means that every moment you are absolutely aware in terms of your language, communication, behavior, because expert says all 10, top 10% 10 people think one wrong communication is going to lose my business forever. Waiting for situation to change, waiting for political environment to change, it doesn't happen like this. It happens only through two ways, one is vision, second is reputation. And then comes the third point, the third point, make a note please, call setting and achieving the target. Let's see if in 90 days where you reach after implementing all these methodologies which I am providing. The third point is setting and achieving the target. Now if I can ask you what is your goal for 90 days and if you say, just, just, it's just going on. No, 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 we can't say it's just going on. And I recommend all of you, to all leading franchise, just see and apply this. Whatever is your target, just write the target like this. If I have to, you can make a note. If I have to, if I have to achieve a target of, now, now, now decide your own target, number of target, number of AMC, you decide. If I have to achieve a sale or a target of, X amount or X MC, I don't know, write that, within 30 days, within 30 days, within 30 days, if I have to achieve a target of, write the amount also, 
or the number of AMCs, I don't know, depends on your situation. Within 30 days, what 10 things I need to do? That's all. What 10 things I need to do? That's all. And from tomorrow, only focus on those 10 things. That's all. So, here we go. In order to achieve target, the one I have guided you just now, first thing what you need to do, this is called A, time management. Here comes time management. If you want to achieve your target, first of all, find out between 9 to 5 p.m. which are those time waste activities where you are giving 100% time and it doesn't even require 0% time. 9 to 5, only high priority, which includes your reputation, which includes your credibility, which includes your multiplying business, which includes developing new clients if you are not developing new clients. So the first thing in setting and achieving the target is time management. Here we go in time management first is high priority. Have you written this everybody? Huh? Then comes low priority. In low priority delegate your low priority. All great people divide their income, divide their income on hourly basis not monthly basis. All great people divide their income on hourly basis which means divided by 25 days divided by 8 hours that will come your per hour cost and that is your time if you are wasting your one hour you are wasting that money if you work like this it may look like for some people you are money minded don't worry between 9 to 5 you got to be I repeat between 9 to 5 you got to be but don't follow same formula when you go back to your home leadership skill LS stands for leadership skill in leadership skill the first skill you must check from today, right now, after the seminar, is known as C O double M U N I C A T I O N. Would you mind repeating it? L I S T E N I N G, listening skill. We hear, but we don't listen properly. We hear, but we don't listen properly. Listening skills. These four skills primarily are so important in leadership skill if you practice these four skills step by step from tomorrow and you can find you can solve so many problems I see some sales people without listening they start speaking about the product your job is to listen like this if you can uh, if you can just follow from tomorrow uh-huh hmm, okay fine good yeah just 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 a joiner okay fine okay hmm. yeah and then and how you uh, how, just add one word joiner and the other party will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and then you have total clarity about the person then give a point wise point solution Tah! your job is done your job is to come in the category of tell person is by thinking what I want how to get it only two words what I want how to get it what I want how to get it what I want how to get it your priority has to be very very clear absolutely clear there are Six priorities in life. So I'll go one by one. First is your health. You got to be physically absolutely fit. Your body energies are going to be absolutely fit. Mentally sharp. Read books. Ask yourself, when was the last time you attended a seminar? When was the last time you finished a book? I mean, as for a research, a professional, uh, an executive, a growth-minded individual must finish one book in three months. Take one skill, any skill, and learn it in three months. If you can learn driving, if you can learn swimming, you can learn any skill. So first is your body, then in your mind, and you can motivate your mind by talking about your goals, dreams, and ambition. And my another trainer, Mr. Jim Ron, I have three trainers who changed my life, and I must talk about my gurus. First was Mr. Ashit Ghosh, my first guru. Not very popular, but very powerful man. You can check through Google. The second gentleman who told, changed my life, Mr. Jim Ron, J-I-M-R-O-H-N. The third gentleman, Mr. Brian Tracy. The fourth one, Mr. Do Dr. Wayne Dyer. All these four people have changed my life. But before all these four, the one whose impact is so much in my life is Swami Vivekananda. And he says, all expansion is life, all contraction is death, all love is expansion. And he says, make your today better than yesterday. Make your tomorrow better than today. That's what life is all about. So first area to be, to be, to be handled is body, mind, emotion, health. The second area, ladies and gentlemen, is known as relation. 
Here we go. So kindly check your health is perfectly in alignment or not. The second area is relation. <clears throat> now I am talking about holistic growth, comprehensive relations. Now in relation, please understand there are two types of relations. I will go focused by, focused, uh, in a focused way. There are two types of relations. One is inner circle, the other is outer circle. IC, OC. Inner circle may only there are 8 to 10 people. Now let me count those people. Your family members, your very close friends and your colleagues in your office. These are your inner circle with whom you can share anything, with whom you can talk anything. There is no fear. Are you there? Don't ever lose your inner circle at any cost. They are your lifetime friend. If they are not, if they are unhappy with you today, give them a call and just say, Khatam Corona, yaar, I'm sorry. They are your assets. There are some people called outer circle. Now understand who are outer circle. I call them seasonal birds. And seasonal bird means they will come to you when your time is good and they will go back when your time is bad. Is that okay with you? Don't feel bad, just know them, who they are. Don't lose the relationship because they are also important. They motivate you. They encourage you to do better. So relation means inner circle and outer circle. The third part of your life apart from relation is known as three things. Three things. <clears throat> business, just make a note, business. Money, career. I'll give you one one point agenda so that I can do full justification with my content. You got to be very clear in your mind, my business has to be absolutely in control. Only thing we can keep our business active and alive, my today is better than yesterday, my tomorrow is better than today. How can I make my business better than yesterday? Every time these thoughts must go on in your mind. This is called business. Now comes the money part. It is very important. You must plan a life of financial freedom. A day must come in your life when you must say, no more I am working for any need, I am working for joy. Am I there with you? No more I am working for any need, I will work, but not for need, but for joy because I have reasonable balance in my account. I don't have to borrow anything and it requires 10 to 15 years of long term planning, not overnight. It requires 22 years to attend financial freedom. Question each expense because it's a hard earned money. So second is your money. The third is your career. All those who are working for salary, here is a brotherly advice. Don't work for salary, work for incentive. Salary gives you two times bread. Incentive makes your fortune. I repeat again and again and again and again. So raise your market value. In the same organization, one guy is taking 100 rupees per hour, the second is 1000 rupees per hour, the third is 10,000, the fourth is 1 lakh rupees per hour. Same situation. The one who is taking 1 lakh rupees per hour has tremendous high raised self esteem and market value and skills. He is a problem solver, he is a go getter. I have worked in HP, I know. I know many engineers have been working since 30 years, 35 years. A newly joined country manager became CEO of the company. But I know why he has become. He was so good in presentation skill, selling skill, customer handling skill, foreign visitor satisfying skill. He was so good. The third part is career, business money career. The next part in your wheel of life stands for creativity. Creativity. C R E A T I V I T I. Creativity. I don't know whether you heard this lovely example about Irish Airlines. In Ireland, the Ireland Airlines is called as Irish Airlines. It was going in severe loss, long time back. So they recruited a salesperson, a sales manager. He said, give me six month time, I'm going to convert into a profitable company. So what he did in six months? In six months he found what is that one item in Ireland which is in comparison less cost in Ireland than any other country. He found Irish medical treatment and the medicines are very effective and less costly than European and American uh, medical treatment. So he launched a scheme and the scheme was anybody boarding Irish airlines en route to Ireland is going to have a free medical checkup. 
for an American and European a free medical checkup is a daydream. And people started boarding Irish Airlines. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you see very clearly, there is, a, there is no relation between medical business and airline business. Do you agree with me? But he clubbed it together. He clubbed it together. And that's called creativity. Business only works through creativity, innovation, new product, new services. And the last and the final one called legacy. Legacy. This says, when I depart from this planet, how many people are there who will say, I will miss you? How many people are there who will say, there is no substitute to you? How many people are there who will say, you are a role model? You are an institution. You are a learning resource for me. There is no substitute. You were fantastic. And I'll miss you to the last bit of my life. That's your net balance which you leave on this planet and then you depart and give your report to your creator and creator says, wow, welcome to my arm. That's the way creator says, I sent you on this planet to live a creative life and you have saved and lived that creative life. You have not carried the gutters and the dirt from outside. You have saved your innocency and those people are coming in the category of 10%. For them, money is a medium to use, not to show. I repeat, money is a medium to use, not to show. All great people, all great people, they are so sober, they walk like a kid. I have seen. If I have to redesign my business from today, in next 90 days, with high reputation and credibility, with high reputation and credibility, and profit, high reputation, credibility and profit. What five things I need to do? That's all. What five things I need to do? So today is a day you are supposed to celebrate, you are not supposed to answer this question. But I would be very happy out of all these beautiful participants coming from various parts of country, I thank to everybody in Godrej. Rather than mentioning an individual's name, rather I want to I want to thank everybody. Of course, Vikramji, Bakshi sir, sir you, and we met today some lovely people and we'll be meeting in the evening also. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be a part of Godre. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. <laughs>